Alright, so we're meeting here today to talk about our 2021-22 uh, school improvement plan uh, for Brunswick High School. Um, here's a snapshot of our demographics, Glen County School System, of course, and Brunswick High School. Um, number of students, we're right, right around 1900, 19.5. Um, this is a couple years old, these demos, um, but you can see uh, our school demographics, racial makeup, uh, students with disability, uh, ESL students as well, almost 5%, which is bumping up uh, as we speak now on the influx of uh, uh, ESL students. <clears throat> um, starting out, identifying our school improvement leadership team. Um, we have 10, 10 team members, uh, as you can see, uh, majority are uh, admin, uh, principal, API, and assistant principals. We also have our department chairs listed. Uh, starting with Donna Hutchinson, um, Shante Butts, Casey Kaysen, Benita Tanner, Crystal Ferguson, uh, Erica Johnson would be the first stakeholder uh, and the other parents listed, Donna Hutchinson and Kimberly Hawthorne. <clears throat> Where are we now? Um, we are, uh, as you can see, this, the measuring scale for school improvement uh, is from one exemplary to four not evident. Uh, in current state, uh, we are operational status at Brunswick High based upon the data reviewed and almost every category or standard. Um, the leadership team's goal is to become exemplary uh, in every uh, standard or category. The two areas or gaps that the leadership team decided to focus on were school leadership and professional development, even though there were a few emerging standards detected within the coherent instruction data. <clears throat> Contributing causes and goals for improvement um, causes and leadership uh, breakdown would be a communication breakdown between admin, faculty, and stakeholders, uh, lack of trust on leadership teams to engage in healthy conflict, uh, as well as confuse uh, faculty uh, over sorting through a number of initiatives that may be distracting from the original focus. Professional learning um, causes of, of uh, weak standards would be uh, the high school is the last level uh, in the district to receive um, training on visible learning. Uh, also, a lack of cohesive monitoring system for school processes and instruction. Uh, inconsistency within the instructional practices among teachers of the department. Uh, within the department was evidence due to a lack of instructional framework. Goals that we've set for leadership uh, is to create shared decision-making structures, and this is a broad goal. Um, create shared decision-making structures to support each other as they implement the vision and improve learning for all students. Uh, professional learning goals would be to understand the collaboration is required to improve teaching and learning. Uh, they build structures for all staff to collaborate and learn together. Uh, time is dedicated for collaborative teams to review and make meaning of classroom and school-wide data and to discuss and apply options for improving student learning. Measuring these objectives, um, a few ways we'll do that. <clears throat> We're talking about the leadership goals uh, and improving leadership, uh, school leadership. Teachers will post daily agendas and assign uh, assignments on their teacher websites. Uh, the administration is responsible for monitoring, and they'll do that on a weekly basis. Um, teachers will meet uh, weekly to plan for their content areas and document meetings. Use the PLC form. Uh, also, uh, admin will monitor that on a weekly basis. Uh, leadership teams, members, uh, will share their, with their teachers within their departments pertinent school information and updates. This will be done on a monthly basis, uh, monitored by the principal and other admin. Staff and stakeholder surveys will be conducted multiple times a year to collect feedback and progress towards school initiatives. This will be done on a quarterly basis, uh, also monitored by the principal and the other admin. Sharing upcoming school events and school information through the one call system, social media platforms, school website, and the Remind app uh, will be done on a weekly basis, also uh, monitored by the admin and some faculty members that are designated, probably department chairs. These objectives will also be measured by the admin through monitoring teacher websites, T keys, uh, PLC minutes, and sign-in sheets, uh, the admin faculty meetings, uh, as well as survey results and weekly call logs, social media posts, remind text history. All these are ways that uh, that we will be monitoring and measuring uh, the objectives. On the professional learning side, uh, we'll continue. Uh, instructional process is based on admin team expectations for classroom instruction. Instructional time will be protected and guarded closely. 
This will be monitored by the AP and other admin, API and other admin uh, on a weekly basis. Communicate instructional expectations and instructional practices revolving around visible learning, uh, GMETs, and the gradual release model of instruction, uh, also done on a weekly basis by the API and admin. Uh, the faculty will receive comprehensive training on KLC Plus and visible learning. Uh, this will be done on a weekly basis, also monitored by the API and other admin. Uh, weekly PLCs will occur for all faculty and staff to ensure that instruction is the focal point of the planning block. <clears throat> this will be done on a weekly basis as well, monitored by the APA, admin, and other teacher leaders or department heads. Admin team will meet, you, meet each other Monday to discuss student academic progress, attendance, and behavior concerns, and to complete PLC Plus training on a weekly basis, monitored by the principal and the API. These objectives will be measured by monitoring of teachers' daily agendas, websites, tickies, PLC Plus training and sign-in sheets, PLC Plus module completion, and weekly admin meetings. All right, actions to assess um, our strategies and where they're going uh, would be through effective leadership, coherent instruction, professional capacity, supportive learning environment, and family and community engagement. Uh, no additional funding uh, per se will be required for any of these improvement plans. Here's a bit of our information about Brunswick High School. You can visit us at our website, uh, on Facebook, or on Twitter. Thanks so much for your attention.